All right, this is just a continuation from my previous video where I showed you what all of the uh, legendary weapons do. This is uh, the normal weapons. We're going to go over there right here um, on the left, that big square on the left. So we have, you know, grenades and that sort of thing. So uh, first up is the bazooka, which is basically, everybody knows what a bazooka is. Um, the bazookas can be affected by the wind, so you want to keep, uh, you probably can't see it, but those little arrows below the Xbox Me symbol represent the wind speed and it's heading from left to right on the screen. So if I shoot up here, you can see that it kind of pushes the pushes the missile or the bazooka, the rocket, whatever, to the right. Um, it does a fair amount of damage. I think like 60 hit points on the average, somewhere in there, if you get a direct good solid hit. Um, but just be mindful of that. The next thing we have is a grenade, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can kind of pick the power that you want to throw and it bounces and goes right over top of people. That was a great shot. Let me just throw another grenade here and see if I can get you a good, give you an idea what the blast radius is. That's good for blowing your own teammate into the water, I guess. It's a good thing I'm just playing against myself, right? All right, so the next thing we have real quick is the shotgun. The shotgun, you get two shots to shoot somebody. It's best at close range because you can shoot right over their head. Um, but we did, let's see, like usually around like 25 damage. 20 okay depending on the worm that you have and I'll go over this in another video too but depending on the worm that you have uh, you do different amounts of damage so that would have been 40 damage if I would have hit him with both uh, the next one we have is an airstrike we can press Y to change the angle that it comes in at so I'm gonna bring it in here and like say I don't want these worms up here to be able to get all of this good stuff so I'm gonna bring an airstrike in here and I'm going to hit that and blow up all of those boxes and hopefully maybe poison him, but I didn't. But I definitely took care of the boxes, so he can't get that health that was there. Just some strategy talk there. And that's pretty much how... Oh, and look, the two boxes both reappeared. Normally that won't happen, but I have the boxes set to high on this custom game can see I get 10 coins there or I can um, get a hundred health because those are the settings that I put in so the next thing we have is a homing missile so the homing missile is good for uh, getting these worms like this guy here like say I want to hit it there and kind of bounce Keezy off into the water I would select that there and then I would shoot straight up now notice that it turns red because if I shoot right now I'm gonna blow myself up so that's that's good to that's good to point out um, so I'm gonna shoot it up as high as I can and then it's gonna home into that spot that I picked and it's gonna blow Keezy into the water <clears throat> one thing to remember with the homing missile is that once it once it starts its homing it's going to pretty much take a straight trajectory toward your target, so you're going to want to kind of calculate what type of obstacles might be in the way um, ahead of time. Next up, we have a cluster bomb, which much like the banana bomb, it's just a cluster. And we're just going to throw that up in the air. And you can see when it blew up, it had little clusters that came out of it and they made some smaller bombs or some smaller cavities. Next we have the Uzi, which I don't know if I can even hit the guy from here. We'll try it. You want to be close range usually. I worked a little bit. I hit him with like two bullets. Probably did like one damage. Four damage. You want to be close for those. 
the next one we have is the uh, oh this is the crate strike so if I have let's see I have a worm like this worm over here has taken quite a beating bill so I'm gonna do this crate strike right here and it's gonna drop a bunch of weapons crates for him Actually, Detroit's going to get one, too, but that's all right. So the next one we have is the Mega Mortar, which the mortar kind of shoots. When you shoot the mortar, it works kind of like the bazooka, only you have to press up and down to home in your shots a little bit. So if I want to hit uh, Billy Bob here, if I hit this, the first one is over, so maybe I want to shoot there, or maybe I want to shoot straight up. That didn't really get a good look at it, but basically, it just when you shoot, it fires like three times, and you have to move up and down to adjust your trajectory. So I'm going to benefit from the crate strike with this guy here. So I got a bunch of stuff there. Next we have a petrol bomb. This is affected by the wind, but not really. I thought it was. But you can see what that does. Basically a Molotov cocktail. Next we have a flamethrower, which basically shoots fire. That was a bad shot. Sometimes I hit A too quick. So we'll use the fire again real quick here. So you can see you can burn yourself if you shoot into something or you just shoot like little fiery balls of stuff. Little fireballs, I guess. Um, next we have the bunk or the napalm strike, which is another airstrike, and that is going to burn. That is going to burn. So let's do that around here. And that just basically blankets the whole place with fire. Great for groups. Also, <clears throat> putting the napalm strike down prevents a worm from maybe walking towards you, too. So, like, if you aim it so that it hits them on the edge, but then kind of covers some ground and fire between you, it's also a good blocker for a couple of turns. Uh, next, we have the fire punch, which is one of my favorites. We just hit this, stand next to somebody, and punch them. That'll also dig into the, if you fire punch up into the air and there's roof above your head, you'll you'll kind of dig into it too, also. Water, this is a water balloon, a water bomb. So what a water bomb does, like see I have this worm over here. Again, I'm killing myself when I do this, but I have this worm over here and see how he's like in a little bit of a, a gully. If I throw this water bomb, and if I can hit him, all that water is going to wash down in. Well, it didn't there, but if I could, if I could cover him in water and like fill up the cavity that he's standing in in water, uh, then he'll drown. Much like I'm going to do here with the water gun. So I'm going to use the water gun to wash the mine down into that worm which is going to in turn blow a cavity into the ground and then that cavity will fill up with the water that I'm shooting and not only will he take damage from drowning but also from me washing this uh, landmine down to him. That's the plan. Let's see how it works. Okay, so it didn't quite wash the mine down, but he's he's drowning now. He's taking five damage every time he stays in there. Uh, the next thing is a water strike. 
or a water airstrike, so we're gonna fill this worm up right here. The water is also good if you, it's good for washing people off the side as well. Because if, if the water's running down the hill, if there's a crate there, if there's a worm there, it's going to wash them down the hill. If there's a fire there, it's going to put the fire out. Um, just something to think about. The baseball bat makes a return. I think this has been in since the first worms. Um, I'm going to just hit him here. If I would have shot him the other way, he definitely would have went off into the water. That would have been a better move in a real life situation, but I need worms to demonstrate weapons, so I had to do that. Now this one is a whoopsie cushion. So that one you just throw and it bounces and fills you're, you got to get it away from you, but it fills up the areas wherever it bounces with noxious gases and then blows up. Or maybe there was something there that blew up. But anyways, it fills it up with noxious gases and that'll make your worm sick. A sick worm in water with a lot of worms alive left alive is a bad situation. So next we have the poison gun, which does just what it sounds like. And it's affected by the wind. So I didn't quite get him. If the wind was blowing in the other direction, that would have been a pretty good shot. So the next thing I have is the, I think it's the Bunker Buster. Yeah. This one I did not have very good luck with. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I think it's meant to dig. So... We'll just put it right here. I don't know if I have to press something or... Oh yeah. Now, if that would have went a little bit better, if I would have shot it up higher, it would have exploded sooner and left a big hole. The Dragon Ball is another Is another punch thing, so we'll we'll punch him right here with a dragon ball. Twenty-five damage, not horrible. Uh, the mine, I'm just gonna skip. You've seen mines. Basically, you can just drop them. Uh, next, we have a skunk. Mines are all over the map. You guys know what mines do. If you walk near it, it blows up. So the skunk is just like the grandma, and if you press A, it'll leave a stink trail. If it hits something, it blows up. With just kind of, like the, the, the grandma or the old lady is like the super skunk, kind of. Uh, the sheep pretty much is a pretty good thing. It'll jump over obstacles, and it's got a really uh, much bigger blast radius and you just press A to explode it or it will time out and explode on its own. The prod is basically your prodding. I'm going to show you this because prodding means to like just push them. So if I hit this See, he just moves a little bit. But if you got somebody that's on the edge and you don't want to take any damage like from shooting them or hitting them or whatever, the prod you have like an infinite number of, it's just you can just, if they're right there at the edge, you can just push them and they'll fall. Push them into the water, push them into a mine, push them off a cliff, whatever. The dynamite is a pretty good one. So we take it over here and we press A. And set the dynamite down and he gets burnt. So that took 128 out of him and killed him. He had 100 health. So that's a pretty serious um, 
combination there that with a direct hit with the dynamite um, plus landing on the fire or several fires so if you get somebody near something that's flammable definitely something to think about just want to let him to die here so the next thing I have is the mole and the mole is basically just kind of walks and then you press A and it just starts digging straight down. This is a good way to get rid of the water. Maybe, maybe to drain water you could use it for or get a worm that's hiding uh, deep down underneath in a cave or something. And the last one is my favorite, the kamikaze. So if you kamikaze, you'll see what it does. You just stand in front of somebody or in front of something and you aim it and press A. And you'll kill yourself, which depending on the size of your worm, you leave a pretty big blast radius. Um, do quite a bit of damage, which it should because you lose a worm for doing it, right? So it only makes sense. Um, but that's pretty much it for the normal weapons. They're pretty straightforward, pretty much what you've seen before, what you probably remember. If you're new to a Worms game, all this stuff is really funny and cool. Um, if you've played Worms for a long time like I have, a lot of it's, you know, some little bit, little bit of a twist to some stuff that you've seen in the past. But altogether effective, and it makes Worms what it is, so... Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, be sure to leave them. Um, below the video and I will see you in the next one. We're going to go over utilities, which is just a little bit different uh, There's some more changes here. So I Will see you soon. Thank you